Well, hello guys, and welcome back to Josiah TV. It is yet again time for a new story times, and here we go with today's story times. So, recently you saw my Kentucky Kingdom video, and today I want to kind of talk about my Kentucky Kingdom experiences. So, um, let's get into that for a second. So, yeah, the first time I went to Kentucky Kingdom was in 2009. Uh, yes, this was 2009. This was the year before the park closed down for a couple years, and then it changed to a new ownership. Kentucky Kingdom is now under the ownership of Holiday World, but Kentucky Kingdom used to be called Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom until their contract with Six Flags apparently something happened to it, or Six Flags. I, I, don't, I don't know, but there was like a big conflict, and then Kentucky Kingdom just closed down. But now it's just called Kentucky Kingdom and Hurricane Bay, but this was when it was called Six Flags and took so back in 2009, this was my first roller coaster I went on. So there was this roller coaster called Grease Lightning. It's not there anymore because now that is now Lightning Run. But this was called Grease Lightning, and I didn't realize it was going to be a launch roller coaster, or yeah, launch roller coaster. And so I'm just sitting there in the car. I'm just like, oh, everything's going to be okay. Because you know how launch coasters they just go out and then they do a loop and then they come back and then they come back like that. But so yeah, I'm just sitting there and then out of nowhere just <laughs> it starts shooting off. I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm, like I'm starting to freak out and everything. And like my heart is racing. I can feel my stomach moving forward because obviously when you launch a roller coaster, you can feel that feeling even though you're going straight. Whenever the roller coaster is launched, so. Yeah, I'm just like, I almost tried to get on my seat, but then my sister forces me to lean my head back, and I'm just like, and then we go in the loop, I'm just like, oh, and then we go up the hill, and of course, there's a backwards drop in your stomach as you're going backwards down the hill, so you're pretty much just doing the whole thing backwards, and I'm just like, and then it's going all the way back, and I'm just like, and then when it comes up here, I'm kind of in the middle, so we did go up kind of high when we went back, and then when it comes out, I'm just like, ah! and then the roller coaster stopped. When I got up, I fell down the stairs of the exit, and I started crying like really bad because I hated that, and that's why today I don't ride roller coasters, but I do, I really do love to watch like the physics and all the like the scenery type things of roller coasters, I like to watch the people ride on it, but I don't like to ride roller coasters myself because of that drop feeling, like, I'm really sensitive to that drop feeling and I just do not like that feeling whatsoever, because it happens on almost every roller coaster you probably, you probably get on. But yeah, so that's, and I haven't rode in like an actual roller coaster since that day, but anyway, Yeah, I guess that's gonna. Any other time I went there, it was it was pretty fun. But all right, so this is 2014 when the park reopened. Now I'm gonna talk about that experience. So we're getting on break dance for the first time, and I'm getting kind of scared because break dance is one of those little twisty rides. If you know what I'm talking about, if you've been to Kentucky Kingdom before. But anyway, we're getting on break dance, and it's one of those rides that just like. It pretty much just circles around, the whole platform circles around while your uh, car is just doing that the entire time. And it wasn't really as scary as I thought it was. Like, I thought it was going to be much scarier, but when I got on breakdance, I was just like, Woo! 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 And I'm going to hit my hand on the fan if I keep doing that. So, yeah, I didn't... I was actually quite surprised, but to this day, I still don't ride roller coasters, but breakdance was pretty fun, and then later on in the day, we went to the water park, and oh my gosh, Kentucky Kingdom, if you have been there, the lines are super duper ridiculous now because the park is improving, it's reopening, they're reopening everything. There's this ride called the Twisted Twins that used to be closed, and now it's called Storm Chaser, and just big long story short, the park is like practically completely open now which attracts the people and there's just so much people but that is a good thing because they're getting they're getting all the franchise they're getting all they're making the they're making that cash flow 
at over at Kentucky Kingdom, and they're successful now. They, they're, they're like way more successful now than they were with Six Flags, I guess you can say. But anyway, back to 2014. So we went to the water park for the first time, and I guess I almost went too deep in the wave pool, because I felt myself starting to drown, and then I clawed to my sister, and I scratched my sister as I was like hanging on to her in the, in the kind of like deepest part of the wave pool. So, yeah, I never went back to the deep end of the wave pool, like, ever again. And then I just went two more times in, in 2014, and it was pretty fun. Alright, so that brings me to this year. I did not go in 2015 because I did not have a season pass, nor the time to go to the park. Um, the summer of 2015, I was making videos for you guys and doing some cool vlogs and stuff, going, traveling to Nashville and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really have time for Kentucky Kingdom, and I didn't really have time for it this year either, so... But I did go this year because I had a one-day ticket, because my, da my dad had, like, a company picnic there or something, but me and my brother had one-day tickets. So this year, in this vlog, this was off-camera. So my brother is trying to convince me to ride the Blue Roller Coaster, which he saw in the vlog, which is called Lightning Road. Now, as you can see, it is not that big, and... It, it doesn't look that bad, but any roller coaster, like any roller coaster, except for maybe kitty roller coaster, I will not ride because I'm just, I'm scared of that feeling, that drop feeling. And you can call me like a wimp or like a wuss all you want, but like, I do not like that feeling in my stomach because I, going back to 2009, I remember what my first roller coaster was like, and I don't want to experience that same thing again, even though. This roller coaster style is different, it doesn't watch or anything. So, my brother was trying to convince me to ride it, and I was just like, no, 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 no. And he kept on like, getting mad at me because he didn't want to ride it alone. But he did realize there's going to be like other people on the ride, but he wanted me to ride it with him. But I just kept on saying, no, 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 and I did not ride it. Like, I finally got him to just go on it himself, and I just went on the little vintage cards under it. And yeah, um... Here's the bad part about Kentucky Kingdom this year. Whenever we went this year, we were having a great time in the water park. And the, but the bad part about this year is that the lines for the water slides were ridiculous. The, the, lines, for, the lines for anything are always ridiculous. So the lines were like super ridiculous this year for the water ride. And I had to wait like maybe 30 minutes just to get on one water slide. That wasn't even that fun. And then later on, as I'm in the wave pool... This big old dark cloud comes out of nowhere. Yes, th this was this year, and this is why my vlog did not go so well, because we get, we get this dark wall of thunderstorms, and it's kind of tornadic, too, because they get they tell everybody to get out of the pool. Me and my brother go get Dippin' Dots real fast, and as we're walking towards, like, a shelter, this just huge old wind just blows out of nowhere. We're like... <sighs> And then we look over and we see like this dusty debris thing like over the wave pool area and I'm just like, whoa. And I'm telling my brother we need to find shelter but he kept on telling me we need to go to the front of the park. And I was just like, whoa, 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 we need to get like shelter right now because my friend, like my friend Serena texted me and she was just like, be careful man, like this storm's like really bad, there's like a really bad storm because the storm was already going through Jeff while we were at Kentucky Kingdom and it, like the city where I live in Jeff got hit hard. Like Jeffersonville, Indiana, and it got hit hard by this storm. Luckily, there were no tornadoes in it, but it was very, it was like a very tornadic storm, and there were no sirens or anything. It was just, it was just lightning, and it was practically just lightning, constant lightning and constant downpour. That's what made this storm, and constant damaging wind. That's what made this storm so terrible. So, yeah, my vlog didn't go so well. I wanted to get on the Ferris wheel. We were, see, what we originally wanted to do, like. Had it had still been sunny, like, originally we were going to leave the water park and then just go back to the main park. Um, my brother was going to ride T3, which is a red roller coaster. I did not vlog that, which is red roller coaster. He wanted to ride that one, and then we were going to go on the Ferris wheel, and then we were going to go back on some of the rides we caught in the beginning. But no, this big old dark cloud out of nowhere just decides to go, oh, I'm a ran on your brain. <laughs> And after all that, <coughs> so yeah, we go in the restaurant, and everybody's just sitting around, and everybody's just chattery chattery. Like, 
most of these people aren't even worried about the storm. Like, everybody's in the restaurant getting food and everything, just taking shelter, just being casual. And then the security guards, they tell everybody, they shush everybody, they're just like, Hey guys, shh, shh, shh. Alright, listen up. Due to the weather, the park will be closed the rest of the night. I'm sorry. And we need to get everybody out of here. So yeah, they start to get everybody out, and me and my brother just walked to the front of the park because my dad was waiting up there. And yeah, so that's pretty much how my Kentucky Kingdom experiences were, were so far. If I get a season pass for next year, I think I will try to ride at least one roller coaster, but I doubt it. I doubt it, though. But next year will be hopefully way better, and I'll get to go a lot more than I have in the past. So yeah, that's my Kentucky Kingdom story for you. Crazy, crazy three years of experience I can get in at... I'm talking way too fast right now. Three, crazy, it was a crazy three years of F. Should I cut that part of the video? No, I'm not. But, <laughs> it was a crazy three years at Kentucky Kingdom. That was a big tongue twister back there. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to do it for the story times. Stay tuned to Josiah TV Summer 2K15. Until then, you can subscribe, like, leave a comment, and, of course, cut. Peace out.